What's good with my honey van gang? It's your boy Sino, and I'm back again for another video. Now, this is the second video of the day. So if you guys didn't check out my last video, make sure that you guys go watch that. Because hopefully you guys didn't miss the news. I do have a brand new account that I'm grinding on. And I know a lot of you guys want to be on my friends list. So this is what I'm going to do for you guys, alright? You guys can send me all friend requests right now. As you're watching this video, my PSN is down below in the description. Send me a friend request. And let's say, um, let's get this video to about 500 likes and I'm accepting every from request that I get on this account. If you guys can push that 500 likes, everyone that sends me a friend request will be added tonight. You guys gotta hurry up because I'm trying to add you right before the weekend because I don't know how many people I'm gonna be adding. We got a couple events that we're gonna be playing and hopefully I'm gonna be streaming. So take the time and do it right now. But today I'm going to show you a build that is returning its dominance in NBA 2K19. Now the build that I'm gonna have to show you guys today is a build that your boy just made and I'm badge grinding as we speak. But before we go any further with this, make sure that you guys hit that like button. If you guys are brand new, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell. Now back to this big man build, this power forward build that I'm making today. This build is going to get the job done. Now, I was really looking for a build that I could run with playing threes, playing twos, playing pro-am, wreck. I, it didn't matter. I was going to hold it down. Now, a lot of you guys were really in a scare just the other day about this last patch. Some of these builds in 2K19, y'all thought that they was about to go bye-bye. But that's not even true. And even after the patch, this build is still amazing. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video so I can show you guys my new build. Now for today's video, we are back to showing some love to those power forwards. I don't know what it is, but these power forwards have been very lit lately. I think I got like a couple more power forwards that you guys just need to try, but today I'm going to be showing you the one that your boy is going to be grinding on. This might just be my 99 overall player. We're going to go ahead and get into the archetypes. Now, I was looking for something that could dominate a game and still show off my strengths as a shooter. So, I did the unthinkable. For my primary skill, I decided to go with three-point shooting. Now, for my secondary skill, we got the same thing. Three-point shooting. I am making a pure stretch four. Now, I know you've seen some of these dudes either at twos. I don't know if you guys run stage. These dudes are really OP still. Now, yes, I get it. They're not as OP as 2K18. None of those animations are as OP as 2K18. 2K18 was boo-boo. But let's just think about it now. With the patch, pretty much all they did was just help people just with perimeter defense and all that, right? Sounds like a big deal, but it's really not. If you're out here taking smart shots, aka open shots, plus having your hot spots, plus having your badges, bro, you're still going to get them buckets. Now the gameplay that I was showing you before I even went to this build, this is the guy that I'm showing you right now. We are building him together. He was going off. My man might be like a little 82, but he going off. So this is what we decided to go with. We made a pure stretch four. Now, for a lot of you guys that have been following me for a while, y'all know your boy Sino is one of the purest shooters in NBA 2K history. And why would I make a whole nother build and just forget about that? So I had to go ahead and assert my dominance with a pure build. Now, this is actually my first pure build that I'm making in NBA 2K19. And so far, so good. We don't even need to look at the caps. Y'all already know what a pure stretch big is going to do. But let's go ahead and look at these badges real quick. Now, just looking at these badges, we get four Hall of Fame badges, five gold, four silver, and zero bronze. But hold on. We get some very special Hall of Fame badges. We get Deep Range Deadeye, Pick and Popper, Catch and Shoot, and also Free Throw Ace. Now, that Pick and Popper is probably one of my favorites. Also, with that Catch and Shoot. Ah, it's going to be a little cheese going on. I can already smell it. Now we're going to go ahead and dive right into our gold badges. We get corner specialist, limitless range, tireless score, up and under specialist, and also quick reflexes. 
These are also some really good badges to have on gold, especially that tireless score. If we are pretty much a big man and going against other big men, a lot of these big men have bruiser. We're going to need that tireless score so we can keep getting them buckets, even if we're a little bit drained. Now to finish it all off, our four silver badges are mid-range deadeye, difficult shots, teardropper, and also charge card. That mid-range deadeye and those difficult shots are going to be very important. Now this build right here is still going to be able to shoot on the move. Just like how a lot of you shot creators be doing that cheese, guess what? I can do it too, but as a big man. So looking at all of these badges, they are very wonderful, especially those Hall of Fame badges. I'm actually grinding on these things right now. If I could get pick and popper and catch and shoot on Hall of Fame tonight, bro, this weekend's about to be crazy lit on stream. So I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree saying the pure stretch bigs are trash and yada, yada, yada. It's all about how you use them. Now, 2K is always implementing something more in this skill gap system. And uh, if you know what you're doing, you're still going to be very dominant. Now, let's go ahead and look at the height that I chose for my player build. Now, when it comes to height, we are a power forward. We don't want to be too small because I still want to run the five. So, for this build, I actually went 7 foot. As a 7 footer, if I step on the court with my boys, guess what? I'm the big man. Now, that rebounder or whoever is guarding me, probably like a two-way something, guess what? I can bring him out the paint. He's going to have to guard me. If not, they're going to drive and they're going to kick it out to me for an open three. I love it. So, with this build, I definitely keep the opponent's big man busy. He has to follow me all around the court. So you, you truly never know. I might pop a three, I might pop a mid-range, or I might just drive on him. So using this build to play center is going to be very beneficial for my teammates. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the next step, which is kind of important for a big man, all right? Especially a power forward, because you know we don't get as heavy as those centers out there. But we have to be heavy enough just so that we can compete. Now for this build, I didn't want to be like too light because I'm not trying to get pushed around. So for my weight, I went with 270 pounds. Now for you sinners out there, y'all know that y'all max out at about 290. Y'all probably got like 20 pounds on me, but that don't even matter because I ain't wrestling with y'all. Y'all gonna have to come out to the splash zone because I'm gonna shoot a three on you. So for this build, I went with the safest weight and that's going to be 270 pounds. I do believe that this weight only maxes out at 275, so if you guys want to, you can max out the weight, that's up to you. But for this one, my guy is 270 pounds. Now let's go ahead and get into the most important part of this player build. Now I hope you guys are paying attention because this is the first time that I have ever done this. Now this is going to surprise a lot of you guys out there that are watching this video. So just be careful, try not to be too shocked. Because I'm about to show you some cheese. Now, for this build, I minimized the wingspan all the way down. Now, I told you guys before, the longer the wingspan, the better the defender. The shorter the wingspan, the better the shooter. And what am I trying to do, baby? I'm trying to shoot some threes. Now, I will be showing you guys everything and all the stats after this. So, you'll see why I put my wingspan all the way down. But just believe that this guy is going to be really cheesy, especially if you're taking on those big man duties. But you know what? Enough of this. We're going to go ahead right into the stats now. While looking at these stats, you already knew that we're not going to be as dominant as we want to in the paint. That's okay. I'm going to be a shooter. I'm going to help my team get open buckets because the defense, they're going to be worried about me. Now looking at our contested shot mid at an 82. Our open shot mid is an 88. Our moving shot is an 85. Now in mid-range, we're valid. But hold on. That contested three is an 83. Our open three is a 91. While our moving three will be an 80. We can shoot, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be scorers. Now, a lot of you guys are going to look at the defensive stats, and the defensive stats aren't everything. Usually, the people that have to hide behind the defensive stats... Sometimes, well, more than likely, they're boo-boo. If you know how to play defense in 2K19, you're going to be fine. So I don't know if you guys run with your friends or if you run with randoms, but I run with my boys. 
we got each other's back and we just be playing defense. It, it's not that hard. It's really not that hard. But I really enjoy this build because not only does he play defense, if you box out and you actually time your rebounds, I can snag a little bit too. So I feel like that's something that a lot of you guys forget, that basketball is still a team sport. So I still got one other dude. I still got four other dudes. I still got two other dudes that got my back. So I definitely see this build being a dominant force just all around the court. Just by me having this dude out on the court, I'm going to keep the defense honest. So as I finish grinding on this player, I'm going to show you exactly the potential of these pure stretch fours. I'm going to show you guys very soon though. So y'all be ready. Y'all turn those notifications on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smack that like button for your boy, man. I would truly appreciate that. If you guys are brand new, make sure that you guys are hitting that sub button and also ringing that bell. But this is pretty much all that I have for you guys today, man. I Unfortunately, your, your boy's account is just gone. So hurry up. Make sure that you guys are adding my brand new account. If you guys want to run, if you guys want to pull up, it doesn't matter to me. Just let me know. Then when I'm on live stream, you can tell me that you're either pulling up or if you want to run. But until next time, guys, it's been your boy Sino, and I'm about to get up out of here, bro. Peace. Yeah, she be my dog, yeah, she be my dog Yeah, Anytime we talking money, gotta keep my bitch involved Nigga really keep a bag like I'm Santa Claus What? Steven A, I let that money talk about how I ball Ooh, yeah Young Hugo got the wrist in motion What? Riff, raff, red bottoms got me tiptoeing Yeah, I could pull up when it's dark and have that bitch